Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Katie. And we're the founders of Fontana Candle Company. In five years, we took our hobby of making candles in our kitchen to a multi-million dollar business with 12 employees. So in our last few videos, we've really focused on the production and manufacturing side of the business, all the equipment we use to make the candles. But today we think it's really important to talk about the employee aspect and the actual office area that runs the business. So there's a lot more that goes into the business side of rather than other than just making candles. And when you bring employees on, you need to have a lot more in the business to facilitate having those employees. So for example, we have a software here that the employees can check in and check out. So they're clocking in and clocking out to maintain their hours so we know what to pay them. It also allows them to request time off. Uh, they can talk to our manager, Rebecca, when they're sick. Yep. It's just a way for us to stay in contact with our employees and so they know their schedule. Yep. We also have a copy of our employee handbook here for reference and every employee does get a printed copy when they start that they sign that they got the copy of it. It has all of our policies in here, vacation times, requesting time off, um, all of our policies from phones to shoes to wardrobe, all that stuff is in here. Because we're using essential oils and chemicals, we have to have an SDS binder. So anytime an employee has a question about a chemical, if there's ever a fire, we know how to handle it. If there's a spill, we know how to handle it. So this book is really mandatory. Anytime you're bringing in something that is considered a chemical or has an SDS sheet. And that is per OSHA guidelines. And then over here we have our poster for Pennsylvania because we only have a Pennsylvania location. This is really the labor laws that pertain to the state. So it has everything in here from discrimination, FMLA, uh, worker and community right to know acts. So this is posted for everyone to reference and is another thing that's mandated by our state to have posted for all the employees. For safety throughout the facility, we do have fire extinguishers and it's important that all of our employees know where they are. So in an emergency, they're not guessing, they can, seconds count so they can act quickly. We also have an emergency eye wash station. When working with essential oils and fragrance oils, you can get them in your eye. So when we were at home making candles, I did get uh, some of the scent in my eye and I had to go to the eye doctor. Uh, so having this eye wash station is a must for employee safety. We also have a first aid station, lots of band-aids. I can show you in here. We have all sorts of gauze pads, sterile bandages, we have alcohol pads, antiseptic, uh, antibiotic ointment, and we have um, Tylenol and Advil. So whatever the employees need, we have here for them. We have the coffee machine, which gets a ton of use here. We have a toaster, we have a soda stream, we have a toaster oven, an air fryer, a microwave. So everything that our employees need to, to make whatever food they would like on their breaks. So we're fortunate enough to have a space in this building that is facilitated as an employee break room. We don't have the budget for a big fancy table, so we are using folding tables and folding chairs, but it's a nice space that they can come off the floor and it's a little more quiet in here, something, some place that they can just come and relax. These were my grandmother's folding chairs from the 1960s. So grandma's still with us today. We also have a general manager, so she really does a lot of our HR. She does all of our employee scheduling. She does all of our um, outbound shipping logistics and setting up the orders that need to go out. She also does all of our production orders so that she can communicate to the team of what needs to be made and kind of manage the floor. And so she does have her own office, fortunately. So you have been here for just over a year. I have. How is running the floor? Uh, it has its own challenges. It definitely is a, a beast of its own. Uh, we have a lot of personalities and getting all those personalities to mesh together and work uh, to produce things sometimes can be a challenge, but overall it's a great experience. Uh, pretty much just find somebody that you know that you can work with day in and day out because you are in a small business. Um, you're going to be shoulder to shoulder with them especially when we came from where we were to here. Um, we worked literally shoulder to shoulder every single day. <laughs> so one of the things that Rebecca helped us implement was a 30 day trial policy. So if they get through the interview, we have 30 days where we just tell them that if it's not working out, it's not working out and we can let them go. Rebecca has used that twice. 
I have used it twice. So yeah. it, it definitely helps us out um, because you can finagle an interview. You can come off very well in your half an hour with me. Um, but once you get out on the production floor, you may find that you don't like the job or it's just not what we're looking for. Quality is always key, especially in a small hands-on business. So that 30 days really does help. So you are now in my office. This is the marketing customer service office. So we have Miss Cheyenne here. She is our customer service rep and she also manages our influencer program. As you grow and you scale, it's really important to have marketing I feel in-house and have it be a specialty because you do continually need to drive sales, you need to find new customers, you need to engage with your current customers. So marketing is really a machine that you have to turn on and keep it rolling to keep your business healthy. Uh, so for us at Fontana, it is having a customer service rep that's available to answer all of the customer questions. Uh, we have a chat on our website where they can immediately connect with her and ask ask questions while they're shopping. Um, it is said that when you have a, a live representative in a chat on your website that our, uh, your users will convert 2.8 times more. So we're always trying to drive up conversions, make our customers happy, um, make our influencers happy, which can be a job in itself, um, but we're always shipping out products to our affiliates, our influencers, doing social media campaigns, email marketing. Uh, we're constantly just brainstorming ways to grab people's attention. So Cheyenne, is the customer always right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick question. It is a tough question. You do get abusive situations, mm -hmm. abusive customers, abusive returns. So you really have to know your policies and know when to stick to them there's occasions where you can bend a policy based on the situation but knowing when to stick to your guns because people really will take advantage of your business and we really have seen that as we've grown it's a shame but you do have to protect your business so unfortunately the customer's right most of the time but not every time so and then this is my office so i do all of our finance and then i also do all of our production planning and procurement of raw materials so this is where I spend a little bit of time, not as much as I should, but this is kind of where I play. Um, I also have in here my burn table, so anytime we're formulating new tests or pulling batch samples, this is where we come and come and light those candles and do our wick testing for them and uh, quality assurance testing for them. There's no drafts in here, so it's really conducive to doing wick testing and this is where it all happens. So if you thought this information was helpful or informative, please like, subscribe, and if you have anything else that you would like to see or have any other questions, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear them. Thanks, guys.